So I'm kind of torn here, you know. Now, first off, you know, I'm, I'm playing some snap maps today, and uh, I just I decided I was like, you know, I, you know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't played a Void Runner map, and I love playing Void Runner maps. And so, you know, but I'm looking around, I'm going, well, I, uh, what's a Void Runner map I haven't played yet? And it's actually getting down to where, you know, the 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 map I have not played yet is a remake. And uh, anybody that's a regular watcher of me will know that, you know, my thing about remakes is I never know how to judge them based on, you know, original designer decision versus the snap mapper's decision decision, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I, 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 not super crazy about remakes to begin with, but I'm super crazy about the work of Void Runner, and here we have, you know, uh, with a, you know, it's a, it says it's a remix, it's got some surprises, this is Hangar E1M1 Remix, uh, that map ID is E8UUUPQV, that's three U's, man, <laughs> that's, uh, that's interesting, in, in any case, it says it's a remix, now, obviously, I'm familiar with Hangar E1M1, um, and so I'll, I'll have a little more knowledge going in and the fact that it's got some surprises in it and he's using the grid module, player blocking volumes, hell props and all that other fun stuff. So who knows uh, what's going to happen here? I'm, I'm excited to find out. Let's do it. Let's uh, take a look at that author profile. Void Runner has played five days and 17 hours of snap map content uh, and has done so in some really badass looking armor there. Uh, it looks kind of like the world's coolest geth, although I swear that armor design has changed a little bit recently. Uh, it's highly possible, I'm not sure. Uh, in any case, he has accumulated over 665,000 snap map points and is the author of 20 total maps, including the community spotlight Outcast M1, which is currently the highest upvoted snap map on the community spotlight list. And uh, well worth that. I believe it's also one of the top custom geo maps right now. Um, and you're going to see it on the top of a lot of lists. It's a very popular map and very much deserves it. It's fantastic. In any case, he's got a, a 93% upvote rating off of 22,000 upvotes, and uh, he's he's rocking it all. So, um, you know, I, I shouldn't have to tell you too much about Void Runner or Hangar E1M1. Both of those things should be ubiquitous in the Snap Map community. So let's just get started with the Hangar E1M1 remix. All right. Well, this doesn't look a thing like Hangar E1 Remix, or Hangar E1M1, so you know what I'm, you know what I gotta say about that? Zero out of ten, worst map ever. There you go. Alright, what do we have going on here? We got a little bucket of skulls, in case I, I'm hungry for skulls. Uh, now yeah, you can have them, you need to eat more than I do. And uh, I'm of course wearing my badass armor, yeah. And, um, weapon wheel with a pistol only. Uh, uh, double jump appears to be in action, okay. And uh, we're going to go ahead and duke this button here. Do, 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 do. Oh! Oh! Well, this is one heck of a remix. Wow. It's like ancient Egyptian E1M1 remix right here. Holy cow. It's a serious doom. <laughs> Man, this is this is crafty. That's a, what an interesting idea, like of taking E1M1 and just completely, you know, making it a new. Oh, that's so cool! Oh man, he's hitting all the flavor notes. Although, if I do recall correctly, that was they used to be armor. But hey, he did say remix. Whoa, that's here's where the remixing happens, I guess. <laughs> What an interesting idea, taking the original E1M1 layout and, like, you know... Oh, wow, that was... That was all... Wow, that was all kinds of gross! Look at that. Did you see how it twisted around? That was hilarious! Oh, I got uh, two extra lives, apparently. Bubba da bap. Oh. All right, well, I, apparently I got him while he was on pot. Uh, boop. All right, and if I recall correctly, pushing that button... Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, there's the secret armor. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. That's really good. Really good, uh, like, retelling of the... Oh, hey, hey, hey! Nice! Whoa! 
30 bullets. Skadoosh. There we go. Whoa, whoa, more of you. Alright. Well, I'm liking the little extra surprises here, definitely. That's a neat idea. I like this. Yeah. So it's like now I, I like I, I finally have like a a, a you know like a, a a remake quote unquote that I can sit there and go oh well I know very clearly what was E one M one versus Void Runner's decisions and I like them you know this is really groovy here I mean, just all of the weird changing what is that that's weird is that doing it out on its own okay whatever very cool looking loving this nice looking too. All right, so then we're going to go in here, and uh, we're going to come here when we first encounter with a... Uh... Oh, wow! Caught just the barest glimpse of that, but holy cow, that was... Wow! Nice conversion. Where, 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 where? Guts here. There we go. Ah, y'all are noisy. Okay. Okay, so I'm not ledge grabbing up here, so whatevs. Go. All right, and uh, trying to remember. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hey, what's up, dude? All right, and then there'd be a. Yep, up here. Nice. Oopsie. That didn't work out, did it? Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, but there's an invisible wall here and I can't get out. But still, look at that. Look how cool. Look how cool. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so, yep, yeah, we just got to use the old secret door here to go out there, I guess. Got to do things in the right order, I guess. No being sneaky. Alright, there's our red skull key. Alright. What do you think is so funny? Whoopsie. Whoopsie doodle. Freaking cool. Punch it! Yeah! I done punched it and you was punched. Alright. Well, yeah, why not? Okay. There we go. Get ourselves a nice little Jolly Rancher. We got ourselves the key that we need to get out. Good idea, like, making the secret area mandatory, because you're going to put that much work into it. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Alright, and then... This is probably the game over. The game over. Entering nuclear plant. Nice. <laughs> so, you know, this is one of those things where you're like, uh, oh, well, geez, you know, like, uh, how, how good was it uh, according to the, uh, compared to the original and all the other stuff? I'm like, no, here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and say it, that of all the remakes of E1M1, this one is probably the one that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like the most, and I'll tell you why. What's going on there is... A lot of folks who 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 do remakes of of maps are always trying to like they'll they'll try to like accurately do the layout of the original uh, of the original map. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll try to do it the way it was before. You know, and they failed to take into account that the way mo mobs move and 
and act and all that stuff in the new Doom are way different from the way they used to back then. So design decisions that were made back in the 90s on the original Doom maps aren't necessarily going to play the same way when you're using modern mobs, you know, and they're not going to, it's not going to have the same sort of experience when you're, when you're doing that. And, you know, maybe that's part of the point, but still, you know, you're not taking into account the, the new way that mobs move and and act and stuff like that and when you do a remake like this you know where where you're taking you know everything that's you know modern and new and exciting about doom in general and snap maps in particular and you're using that to recreate those areas but in ways that take into account the way mobs move and act nowadays and the you know the you know that compensate for that you know, the, the you know they give you they give you a, a you know like for instance that armor hall area that you know normally in the in, when people do a re, uh, E1M1 remake or they just use that the module that's already there they use that little dinky area and it's like no no that now when he recreates that area he's using bigger spaces you know to account for the fact that you you know if you're going to use those soldiers that have the exploding bullet thing you know you got to have room to move to be able to deal with that you know. So, you know, that version of that of the room, you know, gives you more room to move and deal with that thing. And then on top of all that, it also throws in other situations that weren't normally thrown in the first time. So not only is he taking is, is Void Runner taking into account the the way that mobs move and act nowadays and redesigning to suit that rather than trying to make an accurate recreation. All right. Uh, you know, he's also like adding his own artistic vision and stuff, and he's adding enough surprises so that people that are uh, that are already probably sick and tired of playing remakes of E1M1 can come along and play this map and have something new to experience. You know, it is a wonderful blend. It is, it is a philosophy I would love to see more of. People taking, you know, the original sort of Doom layouts and stuff, and rather than trying to make these sort of flawless recreations of what already existed are taking that that idea that people who play these maps probably know the original, and rather than trying to impress them with more of the same, trying to sort of dazzle them with the unexpected, giving them the unexpected in, a, in, a, uh, in an expected setting, and, you know, reinterpreting using the way things are now rather than, you know, you know it, it, rather than ignoring the way things were. Wonderful design philosophy going on here, and I really kind of slapped myself a little bit that I, I allowed so many of my own personal biases to keep me from from playing this. This is a really awesome idea, Void Runner, and I freaking dig the shit out of it. That's awesome. This is Hangar E1M1 Remix uh, by Void Runner. That map ID, one more time, is E8UUUPQV, and uh, really, really awesome. I, I'm loving this. Yeah. 